Hello all, this video is demo on ESPEC IoT firmware implementation on NodeMCU. This ESPEC firmware is an IoT firmware with uh, support for a wide range of uh, sensors. There is no need of uh, writing code on NodeMCU. This demo is on a latest version, mega version. The older version is R120. The download link is given in the description below. In the older version, there is a flasher.exe, open flasher.exe, it lasts for the COM port. Provide the COM port where you have connected the node MCU and then provide the memory capacity of uh, node MCU, which is 4096 bytes and provide the version of uh, EC ESP, that is R120 to implement this uh, firmware on node MCU. In this demo, we will see the uh, mega version. Inside the mega version, there is a GUI uh, flasher, ESPEC flasher. Open the flasher and then provide the COM port where you, uh, you are connected the node MCU. This COM port can be seen from the device manager of your PC. And after feeding in the COM port, you have to select the firmware bin file. Uh, for selecting the latest bin file, you have to click on the update button. It will automatically download the latest bin files from GitHub. After uh, the download is over, you have to save this uh, uh, download bin, bin files. And if you refresh the flasher, the list of bin files will appear under uh, the firmware uh, list. You have to select the latest firmware. As we are using uh, NodeMCU, you have to select a firmware for ESP8266. There are also firmwares for ESP32 also. You have to select for ESP8266 and uh, memory capacity should be 4096 bytes. I am selecting the test beta version which supports even next-gen display. The setting of uh, SSID and password can be done later. For now, just click on flash. The ESPC firmware is uh, flashed on node MCU and once the uh, flashing process is over it will take at least two minutes uh, you have to uh, reset your node MCU if you check up your Wi-Fi of your PC you can see uh, ESP EC access point you can connect your PC with this uh, ESP EC access point by providing the password config ESP now you can open your browser and provide the access point IP address which is 192.168.4.1. Here you can select your SSID and provide a password to connect the node MCU with your router. Once node MCU is connected to the router, the router will offer an IP address. Note on this IP address and uh, inside the browser if you provide the IP address, uh, you can get the dashboard of uh, ECSP. You can uh, restore your uh, Wi-Fi connection of PC with your SSID now. Under the dashboard of uh, ECSP, there are many tabs. Under main tab, you can see the specification of ECSP and uh, Node MCU. And under config tab, you can change the access point password if you like. And under the uh, IP setup. You can provide a, a new IP address for uh, so that you can make that uh, IP address static. The IP address should be in the range of the gateway IP. In my case, uh, gateway IP, that is the IP of the router is 192.168.0.1. So for changing the IP of node MCU, only the last actor should be changed. You can provide the subnet mask uh, 255.255.255.0. And then click on sub submit now under controllers tab you can uh, select uh, uh, select a protocol there is a wide range of protocols supported mqtt uh, udp and then http here we are going to control from the browser so select standalone and under hardware uh, now we are not doing any setting just just to make any gpu pin high on or low on boot and under devices, you have to select the devices switch. There is a wide range of uh, sensors 
selected as uh, devices only the listed sensors can be uh, used with this uh, ECSP no other sensors can be used there is a wide range of sensors including uh, uh, BME 180 proximity sensors DHT 11 DHT 22 ultrasonic sensors gas sensors uh, LCD OLED and even uh, next gen display is supported uh, DF audio MP3 and then touch sensors and uh, many others are there you can see the list uh, description is given in the uh, uh, link is given in the description below and uh, the supported uh, ESP hardware also is given uh, VMOS D1 is supported uh, Node MCU ESP32 and uh, RAW ESP board ESP01 uh, and other ESP boards are supported even as S on office supported there is an advanced uh, tab called rules where you can provide uh, some basic coding to control the sensors by default rules uh, tab is not visible you have to go to tools and then click on advanced and select the rules tab in future videos we will see the rules tab for now we will uh, connect an LED to uh, node MCU the node MCU is breadboard friendly you can easily fix it on breadboard let us connect an LED at uh, GPO 12 that is a D6 long lead of uh, LED is connected to GPO 12 and short lead of LED is connected to ground through a resistor and then provide the USB connection of uh, PC to node MCU the power will be taken from the USB itself no separate power source is required now under the ECSP uh, dashboard under uh, controllers select standalone protocol and under devices uh, you select switch click on uh, add and then uh, select switch you can provide a name to this uh, switch let us uh, give the name as uh, LED as we are going to control the LED and then click on enable This enable should be selected and under uh, GPO pins select the GPO pin 12 only some selected GPO pins are available uh, in EZSP hardly 4 GPO pins are available for uh, uh, switch you select GPO 12 that is a D6 no other setting is uh, required after selecting the GPO pin click on submit Now under devices you can see the your selection that is uh, GPU 12 D6 is selected and it is enabled. Now open your browser and then uh, type in the IP address here it is 192.168.0.110 followed by a yeah, forward slash and then control question mark CMD equal to GPU comma 12 comma 1 the one will switch on the LED and uh, zero will switch off the LED you can uh, use uh, capital letters or uh, small letters for GPU and then for PWM also instead of GPU you can use PWM from 0 to 1024 the brightness of the LED will vary 1024 means full bright 0 means off 524 means off brightness 50 is uh, initial brightness so you can control this LED from browser in standalone mode. Thank you for watching.